He is a guy that has an ext- an extremely low amount of appearances, but he's actually pretty cool, and I'm here to dissect them. It's that time, everybody. Virgil Hawkins. Oh, boy. Electromagnetism. He was exposed to mutagenic gas that swept across the city, Dakota, which gave him and other people, they call them bang baby superpowers, with the ability to control electromagnetism. He joined the Teen Titans, yada, 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 appears in certain limited DC comics, which he should have more appearances in, but that's none of my business. Oh, yeah. But before I go any farther, let me give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot. Let's get right into it, baby. Let's talk about his hand-to-hand combat. He has melee combat, even taking on people that are way bigger than him, if we're being honest. Look at that knee to the face. When it comes to reaction and combat speed, he's pretty decent when it comes to reaction time. Well, what do you expect? He's in DC. Reacting to lasers, redirecting the lasers, and blocking them on a consistent basis. Yeah, it's very consistent. Redirects rockets as well. Here's this thing called stealth mode. Notice how he was behind her. Then when she looked back, nothing. Might I add he's a decent hacker, computer stuff. And his body has an auto healing factor evidently. Thanks to his physiology, it will reattach body parts that are chopped off. Like, I'm not playing. I'm serious. He just reconnected him. He's still confused. He said, my, my arm, it, it's still on. He's evolving. He evolves, right? Stronger over time goes by. He used to use a metal trash can lid to fly. But he eventually made his own flying saucer. Collapsible saucer he can stand on, if that makes any sense. And yes, you are seeing this correctly. The thing he flies on, he actually uses it as a weapon as well. He went to Star Labs, even upgraded his gear. He even got these hexagonic discs. And when his arm got injured, he even used it as a cast. Think of it like nanotech. It's like six individual discs that stick together. He can split one off and then stick stand on two. I mean, he only has two feet, so he technically only needs two or one. The rest can be used as weapon, or another one can be as cast, or all three at once, right? He uses these metal rods to use as a staff, so he has weaponry on top of his melee skills and electromagnetism. Haven't even gotten electromagnetism yet, but just give me a second. He even has his own lair with hardware and computers, and has like his little hub, Techie. A mobile version of his supercomputer, one could say. All right, let me just get right to the nitty gritty. Electric abilities. Let's get it. Obviously, he can generate electricity. 20,000 volts here. Consistently. Is that black lightning? Thought they slick, ain't they? Lightning bolt. That's right. Eat my freaking heat. A bolt that can even follow you. Curving. Bouncing all over the place. Curving around the corners. Left a trail to seek. Seeker charge. Yep, that tracer halo seemed to be working. Just keep the bouncing ball in sight. Yep, it really is following epic it's nice to not get in a big crowd because electricity is bound to bounce the next person if you're nearby you see what i mean it's like a group type of area of effect type of thing you see that like a net blast yet again area of effect they getting destroyed he was able to find where a bomb was by using a tracer bolt the way his way a bomb would react to his electricity epicness see him doing stuff to his flying saucer you gotta love it techie i mean you already know he has energy projection but how creative can he get with his energy projection when especially when it comes to his electromagnetic wave manipulation oh boy he can do a particle sense with it like and that trail of uv photons should lead me right back to the shooter yeah that type of stuff the bullets kinetic energy was transferred to the air molecules through friction and heating causing them to kick out a uv photon yeah Able to get real technical, he says, I am sensing a really big electromagnetic field. Maybe it's the power source of their weapons. It has wavelength tuning, radio, wave control. He can even produce electromagnetic pulses himself, like just straight up generate it on his own. Isn't that epic? Obviously, he can make stuff levitate. You know what I mean? Yet again, kind of like telekinesis in a way, can pick up stuff like, like use his electromagnetism to be an extension of himself. Kind of similar to Magneto, using it for metal, stuff like that. He can use it to attract stuff or repel it back. You ever heard of the term opposites attract? Like opposite charge? Positive push from me. He's done it consistently over and over again. He says, if I can set up a field of repulsion big enough. Magnetization does this to these guns. Right. That's right. He has pathic resistance because all the static going on and electromagnetism. And the fact he's a superhero and he more than likely has the same willpower. Willpower is like the ultimate kryptonite for any mind person. Turns out if I send a low level charge through my uniform, it renders me invisible to most security cameras. Hey, you learn something new every day. Knockout touch. Your light work. Consistently. Knockout. He can cling you. Pretty much immobilize you in the freaking process. Yeah, it's like a spider web <laughs> sticking on walls. Immobilization. I can't move. It's like we're glued together or something. Cleans them together and immobilize them without hurting anybody. His power can do that. Poor thugs. Cannonball taser myself through the villains. I can enhance my punches with a taser punch. And of course, he can increase his durability by adding shielding on more than one. Yeah, look at all that. Look at that. Occasion. I love shielding occasions like this. 
especially if they're made of bullets, that's not a good idea. Doesn't have the most flashy feats, but he does have some interesting wins and battle feats with his intellect and his abilities put together. He's actually pretty smart on how he beats some of these people. It's not winning just through brute power. That is a part of it, but he uses his brains a lot. Like the time he was fighting these robots and he made them implode. What, you don't like my magnetic personality? A little juice and they turn into electromagnetics and collapse on themselves. You know, he immobilized rubber band man. Yeah, I know, rubber band man, why is that? He forced him to hold a charge, immobilizing him until he can discharge it. Okay, he's out of action until he can get to a lamppost, which won't be long. He used aerosol spray this one time and dry ice to super cool a bang baby made of tar. Basically, he's using straight physics to take out the people, not just his power and that's it, his brain. Look how he strategically beat this guy down. He figured out that this guy has to move fast without getting burned. Let me just read this for you, his strategy. So I say to myself, I say, how does this guy move so fast without getting burned? How does he do that crazy fire thing? Then it starts to add up. Maybe you save the heat you make that moving that fast and burn it off by throwing fire. So maybe if you can't do one, you can't do the other. And since you sat still for this entire lecture, yeah, he beat him by using his own powers, by understanding it better. Forces the electrons in this person's body to explode. Making them forcibly scramble to back to where they belong. I'm telling you, technical W's. He was fighting rubber people on the outside, aka his weakness evidently. While they was trying to drown him, he figured it out that he can light up your conductive steel belts on the inside like a toaster oven, cooking them, roasting them while being drowned. Oh, that backfired. They thought they were safe. Oh no, I'm not all just my powers. I got a brain. You don't move. Get freaking murked. Smelted iron. If you're a person that can go intangible, you're not necessarily safe because of physics. He's able to counter this. He charged the bonds between a phase shifter's molecules to stop him from freaking shifting to phase mode. He stated here, if I can juice the molecular bond, they don't call them electrons for nothing. It's like he can affect his electricity and energy output can affect things on a molecular level to stop your freaking hacksy ability. Master of density, my cheeks. He had this regenerating enemy that kept on, like, I guess, regenerating, right? Absorb charges, right? He absorbed the charge of the NYC power station. He ends up redirecting it as an alpha ray burst. And by the way, this was a 94 megawatt power station. He has teamed up with characters like Kid Flash, used Kid Flash's speed to enhance the radio wave and signals and stuff like that. Teen Titan work. I love little team ups like this. He used his power to blow out a fire. He even blocked Holocaust fire from killing innocent civilians. He knows how to kill a swarm of zombies, like only hitting the zombies without killing no humans. Even if they are near them, around them. Yep, yeah, I like seeing him teaming up with characters in DC. Hawkman, for example. He was able to stop this massive tidal wave. It says, electrical current does separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. I can see it. Static tells wave dry up, static boom. And it, yeah, it didn't work out as well. Mm -hmm. He can keep hypertoxic gas from spreading. See that? But thanks to his science-ness, he was able to save Kid Flash from vibrating out of existence. What would they do without you, Static? There was something definitely wrong with Kid Flash. Like, it was bad. He stated here, sooner rather than later, he's going to vibrate himself into total nothingness. Each cell scattered to the four winds. So in his free time, he just be doodling and thinking of new variants for Flash costumes because he's just awesome like that. Yeah, it's great. I'm wearing a doodle. The idea is lightweight nano mesh used to keep astronauts safe in the event of strato-atmospheric freefalls. Yeah. Yeah, it ended up working though. Thank you, Static. Bro, when he's bored at work, he be building robot raptors on the side just because he's that smart. Just building robots on the side. No big deal. I'm, I'm just smart. Like most superheroes, he has this weakness of holding back too much. But when he stops trying to hold back as much, he can actually curb stomp people that are supposedly his evident weakness. AKA a bang baby. People that have similar abilities to him. Remember, a bang baby is people that got the powers from the event of the Dakota getting a mutagenic gas swept across it. That's what I mean by bang baby. People in that town that got powers from that event. He overpowers a being made of tar. Um, using a steel column as a ri lightning rod in the process. Extremely hard to hurt this guy. Law gear style. He fought this life force stealing metahuman. He made it stop possessing his best friend. Overcharges this being to make it release all this energy. All this stolen energy release. And look at it. It is all beautiful. You don't want him to unleash his full power. He can make a swarm explode. It's like a telepathic living swarm. He has a lot of people that are like supposedly untouchable. Text him out with a quick plan and strategy. It was a sonic based enemy. You know, stuff like that. If I had to say when it comes to his raw power, he should be able to produce enough blast power to blast away a building. If I'm being honest, blast holes through holes with ease. Can blast through steel with ease and cars. Stuff of that sort. I know this is not shielding, but hey, back to his shielding. He created like an airtight barrier to keep himself to be able to breathe from this freaking toxic gas. 
blocks enemies, saves cops, reflects attacks, deflects arrows, cop helicopter, saves the helicopter, stuff like that, all in quick succession. You can even have a room specifically made to stop him. He can counter it. He says something very smart. One, you could coat every inch of this room with Teflon, but ultimately it's not airtight and everything you do in here is dependent on electricity. Two, I own electricity, but most importantly, three, you should have killed me first. I told you willpower is the ultimate thing when it comes to mind control. Static probably could use more cases of him actually fighting against more DC people to see how he stacks up, but he has very little showings. And this one occasion, he had the anti-life equation control him. I showed this earlier when he broke out of mind control, but I'm going back to it now. He fought this being known as Ravager in the fight. You might notice he looks a lot like Deathstroke. That is on purpose. Kind of handling her in the process as it's Ravager's down. This gives you an idea of how scary he could be if he's just not in his right mind but his willpower countered the anti-life equation. I know that sounds crazy. Just casually breaking out of the anti-life equation. And it's showings like this that really lets you see how much energy he can generate. Oh yeah, and before I forget, Static and Black Lightning are not the same guy. And yes, they are both black. Yes, I have a video about Black Lightning. And they both got electric abilities. I know, a lot in common, but they're definitely still two different people, right? Okay, so here's the thing about Ravager, right, in DC Comics. Managing to kind of overwhelm, overwhelm her is a bigger than you think, considering her combat speed. You know how DC is, dodging bullets and stuff. To be able to overwhelm her in speed is a lot more impressive from the outside looking in. She's the illegitimate daughter of Slade himself. That's right, freaking Deathstroke. Why is this impressive, you ask? First of all, she has precognition. It is proof on this occasion that she does indeed have precognition. But that didn't really seem to matter. Completely overwhelmed. This same character, Ravager... She's consistently overmatching super soldier tiers like Damon Wayne, for example, in raw combat skill and speed and etc. Even doing quite well against the man to myth the legend himself, Deathstroke himself. She even managed to fight the Terra Titans by herself. No, it was bad. Might I add, notice how you can see that she doesn't have no mask on here. Yet she has a mask on here. You know what? Did she literally change her clothes in the middle of a fight? This girl can spin men around like a dog on doll, blocking bullets with a beer peg at the same time. Not to mention, I've got a video about Cassandra Kane as well. She's kept up with Cassandra Kane. Never forget how fast Cassandra Kane is. Able to dodge bullets as they are mid-flight. Yet, she couldn't really do much when steady mind control going kind of all out against her. Couldn't keep up pace with him, even with her precognition. This kind of means that static can react in those Mach 1000 ranges of speed. I mean, you know how Super Soldier Tears in DC is, right? You can check out my DC videos to see how fast they are even more. So, static should be on this level, or at least faster, than characters that are swift like this. Deathstroke's illegitimate daughter. Overwhelmed her. Keep that in mind. Never forget when this happened. Not to mention all these speed feats that I mentioned in combat kind of match up with the feats of him being able to dodge and reflect lasers, react to lasers like I showed earlier in the video as well. So it's not like this is the only time during battle. He has his own straight on measurable feats of this as well. In case you're wondering why I'm mixing in post-crisis feats and new 52 together is because as far as I know or research, the continuity is pretty much identical and they should technically carry over. You know what I mean? He can store his suit and shoot it out with little canisters to where he can put it on a lot easier like that. Isn't that cool? How does that big old suit fit in that little thing? You know what? But unfortunately, everybody, that's just about going to do it. He doesn't have the most appearances. Doesn't have the most battle feats to really see how he stacks up to how he is to the heavy hitters. Could be up there with the heavy hitters, but it's really hard to say. He faces a lot of his villains from his old continuity. He doesn't face a lot of named people, if that makes a lot of sense, right? Maybe a couple occasions, right? Not too much to really get a quite big understanding so his power was really unknown he's at least in those symbiote rangers if we're being fair when it comes to just raw blast power right but he can absorb energy make electromagnetic pulses it's really hard to say he could be on the level of magneto but it's really hard to say right electricity manipulation flying saucer things of that sort but i'm interested to hear you guys thoughts is there anything major i've missed i uh, hopefully not if not i'll probably make something later in the future where i just add the feats later <laughs> But what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Respect, static.